Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our second personal break of the day and it is, you guessed it, another hobby box here of 2021 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. This one is for Kevin K from Minnesota, so thank you so much Kevin. But let me open up this box for you. Hope to find you some ho awesome hockey cards to add to your collection. Now we do have a little bit of a bubbly box again here. Did open up a box I believe on Monday evening. That was a bit like this. It, there wasn't any extra packs or no any extra cards, no extra chunky relics or anything like that. I think just some of the cards were a little bit kind of warped uh, and they just kind of were stacked together in opposing warpness and it made it extra puffy. So I don't know what we'll find here. We did have a box like this during our live stream of two cases last Wednesday uh, where it just happened that a pack kind of got loose and just got stuck on top. Uh, so we'll see what's up with this box shortly. So let's just go ahead and get right on into it for Kevin. Bye. Snapping us into the corner and let's get started. Now I've been noticing, not often, but we are seeing sometimes those issues that plagued series one with the gloss on the cards kind of sticking together. So it was also interesting to see the box where the cards were a little bit curvy. They reminded me of just like heat warp. Uh, like if you let your package sit out unfortunately too long in the sun, the, the cards can kind of, usually you just stick them under like a, a dictionary or some textbooks and they do flatten on out. Looks like in this case, it was just that one pack kind of got stuck in the middle instead of being flat on its um, wherever corner it's supposed to be in. It just brought up the um, the top of the box. It's not really a lid. I wanted to say lid, but giant John Tavares face instead of the mini ones. Anyway, here we go. Let's get started with that one top pack. See if we find anything crazy here. Let's get started. Pack number one. All right. We're starting off with a, it looks like a clear cut here. Uh, Barbashev for the St. Louis Blues here. The clear cuts that are on the ice, sometimes I feel like are super cool. Sometimes they get me a little bit confused. I mean, this one's still cool, but it is really super clear there. So I guess, I mean, I could see a little bit of the lines, uh, like the red lines, I believe, on the ice. But if there's no like advertisements or anything on the ice, like you can see the little Pepsi logo here on the boards, but it, it does make it a little bit odd to look at. It's like, what's wrong with this card? There's no ink. It's just the clear cut that is extra, extra clear. So that is cool. I love clear cuts. I feel like I mention it every time uh, I pull one, but if I won the lottery, I'd probably just make full sets of clear cut for uh, base sets for a series one, series two hockey. I feel like that would look super cool. Maybe not in a binder, but like, um, not in like a card game binder because those usually have black backs, but clear pages, I feel like that would look super cool. The whole set being see-through. Because of course they do make clear cut young guns as well. It's been a little bit of time since we've seen one here in our box openings. But we have seen some really nice ones on the channel. We've seen a Cousins. We've seen also, hey, look, we have a photo variation Johnny Gaudreau here. Uh, but we've seen a Cousins clear cut and also a Hoglander clear cut on the channel. But those are definitely harder to find than base clear cut parallels. Let's sleeve off the Johnny Gaudreau here. Photo variation in his suit. I never realized his hair was so curly. Luscious curls up there on Gaudreau's head. All right, here we go. Next pack, next pack for Kevin. Marquee rookie Ryan McLeod. And we have a retro marquee rookie Ustamenko. We have our first young gun in the box, McKenzie Entwistle for the Blackhawks. Portraits rookies Larmy and variant Francais Vince Dunn here for St. Louis. Seems like we're having a little bit of a St. Louis theme here. We had the Barbashev clear cuts and the French Dunn here. Wonder if we'll see maybe some St. Louis young guns in this box as well. Not sure, Kevin, if you're a Blues fan, but hopefully you don't dislike the team. It's always weird how that happens. Sometimes I feel like you get themed boxes of like a team, but if you're not a big fan of the team, it's kind of weird. But if you're a big fan of the team, team it's awesomely great. Blue parallel marquee rookie Kurashev for the Blackhawks. Retro award winners, Dry Soddle here for the Oilers. It's 
Portraits Rookies Hakan Pa. Marky Rookie Wool. Marky Rookie Belzeal here for the Canadiens. And it looks like somewhere along the line I messed up my piles. Was with the wool. Sorry, Hakan Pa. Covered up your pile of portraits rookies. Another young gun. It is Nico Mikula here for the blues. All right, bringing back the theme. All right, I'm watching you, Box. I'm watching you, Tavaros. Portraits rookie Shane Bowers. Portraits rookies Kurashev. We have a canvas Ryan Nugent Hopkins here for the Oilers. Another young gun coming on up. We have Chase Prisky for the Florida Panthers. All right, so it looks like Colorado also does have Colorado on the side of their cards. If you guys missed that video earlier, I'll go ahead and link it right up there. That personal box break for Brian Z of Series 2 directly prior to this one. Caught my attention when we're looking at the young guns that the Nashville cards said Nashville. They didn't say Predators, whereas all the other young guns we saw and the majority of the base, I guess I hadn't seen any Colorado Avalanche ones, uh, but they all said the team name, whereas the Predators didn't say Predators. It said Nashville. But we did just see a base card there that said Colorado instead of the Avalanche. So maybe it has to do with... Well, that doesn't make sense because I was going to say like actual word size. Predators versus Nashville versus Colorado. I mean, yes, Colorado's shorter than Avalanche, but Predators Nashville seems more close. So that one doesn't really make sense. Evgeny Malkin here. Although I do hear the Avalanche referred to a lot as Colorado. So maybe it is like my initial hunch... Maybe Nashville just wants to be more so called Nashville rather than the actual team name, which would be a bit odd, but that'd be an explanation. We have Victor Olofsson Canvas and our box man here, John Tavares Dazzlers. Unless you're getting a Dazzlers parallel, you're just getting one per box. I don't think we've seen any that's had two. Did have a funky box though the other day that had a bonus young gun missing a French, then a box later on missing a regular young gun and having a two Frenches. So Jalen Chatfield here for the Canucks. So that was interesting to see. So I guess boxes can have a little mix up like that. We are getting close to the end here. These openings just fly by. We have Marky Rookie Delandria. We have Ty Smith for the Devils. Another young gun, we have David Kaze here. Seen a lot of Kaze recently. And the last pack for Kevin. We have Canvas Young Gun Jansen Harkins for the Jets. So very cool. Finding a bonus young gun in our final pack. Let's go ahead and tidy on up a bit and then I'll get into our customary end of a box recap. Let's get you in a sleeve, Mr. Harkins. And alrighty, move this out of the way, straighten up the baits because I don't like the way that pile looks, and then we'll look at all of our sleeve cards as well as our young goods. All right, so let's start off with our sleeve cards here. It did have a bonus young gun, Jansen Harkins here for the Jets. And we did have Johnny Gaudreau here, photo variation, and two blues parallels, clear cut Barbashev and Dunn French variant. It's a little bit of a theme here. We did find a Young Gun for the Blues as well, but it didn't carry as much of a theme as I was a little bit expecting from this box. Did actually find some Blackhawk stuff too, a lot of Kurashevs in the inserts. I did have that blue parallel and a Portraits Rookies. But for our Young Guns, we did have Kaza, Smith, Chatfield, Prisky, Mikula, and Antwistle. 
So I did have six regular young guns and one extra in that canvas. But that'll do it for this box here for Kevin. Thank you so much, Kevin, for letting me open up this box for you. Really hope you enjoyed the opening and love all of these new additions to your hockey collection. All of you out there watching as well, whether your name is Kevin or not, I hope you enjoyed the video too. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me, leave those down below. Have you ever opened up a themed box before? Go ahead and let me know. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that little red subscribe button for me. Also, before I get on out of here, because I do still have two more videos remaining this evening, do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you guys, for going above and beyond with your support of the channel. We really, truly do appreciate it. Do have six Black Label fans, and in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have nine Gem Mint fans, Alberto M., Anthony Basileo, Chris Rivers, D. Vaughn, Dusty Archuleta, Geriatric Geek, Jake Rhino C., Joe Howe, and Michael C. But thank you so much to all of our channel members. And all members do have their name shown on screen at the end of every video. But that'll do it for me here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!